and still rising. We're not relieving the pressure fast enough. Pulse of tachycardic, BP 82 for 41. Let the monitor jerk wide open. ICP is still spiking. Do you think it'll be stable enough? It's gonna have to be. First thing he said to us when he woke up. Teddy. Yeah. yeah. He wanted to know if I wanted the stuff down. Yeah. He's a fighter, Elizabeth. That little boy is a fighter. I mean, remember, remember the time we found Jay teaching himself how to swim? Yeah. yeah. Or, or when he was when he was watching motocross on TV and then and then decided to take his trike right off the back porch. And he toppled over the handlebars head first, and we were so panicked seen him lying there. And then he looked up at us. He said that was so cool. Mom. And he wore that that scrape on his elbow like a badge of honor. Yeah, yeah, he's a fighter. He's, he's a fighter. You are such a good mother to him, Elizabeth. Listen to me, he's gonna come through this. Okay. He's gonna come through this. Steve, any word? Uh, given Jake's injuries, I expect it'll be a while. Uh, I'll, I'll be right outside. Son, uh, son's fighting for his life right now. hope. We've got a problem here. He's still hemorrhaging. We need to find the source. I think it's coming from the middle communicating artery. There's bone fragments everywhere. Clamp. Hudson. Okay, there it is. Bowie. His BP's dropping. His ICP's going up again. I need to remove the thrombus from the right ventricle. Woodson. Get some suction irrigation. He eight. has an interventricular hemorrhage. personal drama long enough to practice medicine. Okay, my status at the hospital can wait. The only thing that you should be focused on right now is your nephew. God's not used to hearing from me, but I am praying that Patrick and Robin pull him through. Hey. 
Lulu called and told me what happened. How's Jake? Still in surgery. Listen, if you need anything, even if you don't want me here. No, no, of course. Of course you're welcome here, man. No, I just, I've been doing everything I can trying to convince Elizabeth that Jake's going to be okay, but the truth is none of us know. Thomas was acting like a tamponaut. As soon as I removed it, it started to bleed again. It's spilling into the CSF. I've got to try and constrict the artery, redirect the blood flow. Come on, Jake. Hold on, buddy. Come on. Adson, I need to create a collateral circulation. solution. Patrick is focusing on the head trauma before he deals with Jake's other injuries. At this point, no news is good news. He should be home. He should be asleep in his own bed. Why didn't I hear the door open? Patrick and Robin are still operating. How bad? We don't know. We don't know. No one's been able to tell us anything yet. Uh, yeah, I drove out to the accident site. There's no tire marks, no sign of someone swerving or slamming on the brakes. My, my God, what kind of a person is this little kid that keeps on going? I don't know, but that, that stretch of the road isn't lit very well, so maybe the driver didn't realize what happened. There, there's a traffic camera, though. I'm going to look at the footage. I just need to get a time frame from Elizabeth. Wait, wait, wait. Don't take... No, you can't. I can't let you question Elizabeth. Not now, man. She's going through hell. We, we, we are doing everything we can, using every available resource. Every available resource. How many times have I said those words? I've heard them until now. It's my, my own nephew in there in the OR. And I'm the one doing the waiting. But you know what? Something, something good is gonna come out of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen better. I'm gonna be more aware. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be genu genuinely empathetic toward people in this situation. watching the surgery through the observation window. I tried to stay there for a little bit, but the only way I can help is to help find out who did this. Hey, look, look, I know you're concerned about Elizabeth, but you know as well as I do, the longer we wait to move on this, the more chance this driver has to ditch the car, come up with a story about what happened. I know. Okay. Let me talk to her. Okay, I'll, I'll question her about what happened. And uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you what you need. Suction and irrigation. The ICP is extremely high. Clamp. Bogey. Come on, Jake. Short nets. Patrick. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Patrick. Patrick. He has an uncle herniation in the brain stack. There's no brain function. Nurse. I'll close him up. Tell the parents. 
curse. between 8 and 8.05 tonight. Elizabeth is positive about that? Yeah, yeah, she uh, made the call to 911 on her cell at 8.06. She, um, she never saw the car. Uh, she found Jake lying by her front yard, which means the driver was heading south on Lexington. Okay, so the, there are any streets in between Lexington and Gable, so that means unless a neighbor hit Jake. Someone drove through that intersection between 8 and 8.05. And it's got to be on that, that traffic camera.